I was born in Berlin, Germany. My parents uh, fled Russia in the aftermath of the revolution and moved to Germany where we stayed until 1933. And my father was a civil engineer and he had opened an office in Berlin with an architect. But when Hitler came to power in 1933, <coughs> my father had to abandon all this and left at a time when leaving was not difficult and uh, moved to France. And we lived in Paris for a number of years until, well, I'll come back to that. And so I, I grew up in France up until the age of 12. I first went to, I went to primary Catholic schools, actually, and then went to a lycée. The lycée was called Lycée Claude Bernard. It was a new lycée, and that was sort of a forecast, since he was a f famous 19th century French physiologist. So we left Paris in June 1940, and this was approximately four days before the Germans occupied Paris. And like many other people, we fled in a car, which was not easy because the roads leading out of Paris to the south were all completely clogged. And there was also some military traffic coming the other way. And uh, <clears throat> so, but eventually we got, we got on, the, on a better road. And um, we headed to a chateau that my grand uncle owned in near Bourges. In fact, we had been in that chateau the first few months of the war when nothing seemed to be happening. And so the whole family, which was quite large, went to the chateau and then came back <coughs> when uh, the war really got to, We came back to, to Paris and then left, as I said, in June. And, and when we arrived at the chateau, it had been taken over by the French army. But they were very nice, and they said, of course, we could stay there overnight, which we did. And in the f morning, my father got up, and what he had done before we left was to bury a number of cans of gasoline on the estate. So he went and he dug them up, and then we, so we left there with those cans of gasoline tied around the front of the car, which is not a particularly healthy thing to do. And, and we drove to a well-known resort on the South Atlantic coast, north of Biarritz, uh, which today is uh, called Hasgor, which today is a very well-known surfing place. But we had been there f for summer holidays, and we were there for a short time, <coughs> excuse me, and then we found out that since it, this was the Atlantic coast, all of it was going to be occupied. So we got a permit from the district uh, prefect, I have a, and I have the original, which allowed this vehicle, license plate, such and such, and family, such and such, to leave and uh, move to the unoccupied zone. I'm sometimes wondering what it costs to get this permit. I mean, I know nothing about it. And we moved to Cannes on the Riviera, where we stayed for several months. And I went back to the Lycée over there, studying, among other things, Latin and Greek, 
and um, and we stayed there until either late December or early January. And we were on our way to the United States. And my father, who uh, had a lot of foresight, had applied for visas. And uh, since the United States were not at war, the visas came, I guess, must have been first to Vichy, where the embassy was, and then to Nice, where there was a consulate. So we obtained these actual immigration visas, so we were not fleeing as refugees, really. And we then went by train through Spain, and it was not too long after the Civil War, but I remember we stopped in Barcelona in a in what I remember it was a nice hotel, and then in Madrid, where my father took me to the museum. I remember these things, you know, you just... And then we got on the train for Lisbon. And uh, interestingly enough, both Spain and Portugal at that time were dictatorships. But uh, when we crossed the border, you know, we had to get off the train, get in another train. It was sort of, ah, <laughs> I think the Spanish dictatorship seemed to be, the, you know, the Portuguese one, was a kind which, as long as you did, kept your mouth shut about politics, they just left you alone. And we stayed there when we were waiting for a ship to get to the States. And this was not easy because many people were waiting for ships. And we eventually got on a rather small ship, 5,000 tons, <coughs> which used to be done, used for trips to the Azores or to Madeira. And we, we took the trip and we arrived in New York in April 1941. And uh, so my second growing up was here. I went to junior high school here, and then I went to Stuyvesant High School. I actually I learned English. I had had some English lessons <coughs> when we were in Cannes. So I had something that was sort of I learned in junior high school. It came rather quickly. And then we eventually moved to 72nd Street on the west side, uh, where we lived for a number of, of years.